Okay. What's up guys, it's Adel and I'm back with another video. As you see from the title of this video, I recently went to the grand opening of the Golf Wang store in New York City. For those of you who don't know, Tyler the Creator's clothing brand, Golf Wang, has a store in LA and this was the first time that the golf store is gonna be coming to New York City. From all the details I've been given, it is not a pop-up. It is a brick and mortar, year long store. And today was the grand opening of the New York City shop. Basically Tyler fans or other fans of the Golf Wang brand don't have to go out to LA to go to the store in person or to mostly rely on online shopping for getting all their golf related goods and clothes and all that stuff so for all the east coast fans mostly who would be willing to go to new york city or is based out of the new york city area there is now the store there now today was a really long day you know i got up at six in the morning so i could catch the train at around 7 30 I arrived into New York City around 8.50 and then I arrived at the location for the Golf Wang store around 9.30 and then waiting in line for over six hours before I finally got into the store around 3.30. And now I'm back home. I got back home at 7.30 and the time right now is 8.00. I am absolutely beat, but I am mustering up whatever energy I have left to, you know, wrap up this video. And also to share some Q&A questions and answers that I interviewed with some of the people that I met in line. Here's all the footage from today. Seca, you can call me Kaido. What brings you here VA? <laughs> nigga, Tyler. Duh. Like, nigga got the uh, golf wham shop opening up, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to see that nigga. Yeah, yeah. I heard Jasper here too. What time did you get here? <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be so for real. I got here at like 11, cut half the niggas in line. Don't tell them. <laughs> Close to the top now. Thank fucking God. I've been here since like 1933. It's already almost one o'clock. Nah, that at look. It's 101 already, bro. Oh, once you get in there, where are you planning on getting this? Oh shit, let me show you. Piece right here, this little Jesus piece. This shit with these shoes on and like some cream pants, probably some ski pants or some shit like that. I feel like that fit would go hard as hell. I'm expecting like 350. But that's crazy. I'm overestimating like shit. I'm overestimating like shit. You're so good with you. They ain't playing his music, bro. That's my nigga. That's my nigga since day one. Right. I've been knowing him. I had one thing to say to Tyler. What would you say? I'm gonna be real shit. I'm up. I'm gonna freeze up. I'm gonna be real shit. I'm gonna freeze up. Cause like, what the fuck am I supposed to say? <laughs> if I'm being so for real. Like, I was scared of you as a kid. That nigga been a big inspiration for me since like, for years now. Like, it's just, it's just not even the fact that like, he makes good music. But the fact that he's like such a good fucking creative overall makes me want to like take what I got going on now and expand upon it. You know what I mean? You feel with that? You fuck with that? That's how I feel. That's how I feel. I could, if I could express that shit to him, I would. I would. What up? What's up? What's your name, man? At Tommy underscore Rose T Rose. We in the building. How long have you been waiting here, man? Since like. I'm talking about. Like, since like nine o'clock. Nine o'clock this morning. It's been it's been a grip. <laughs> It's been a grip. What are you planning on getting today? Hopefully, I can like, if the jackets is available, I'll dead drop 500 on it. We're gonna see what happens. Or if not, I'm really liking the, um, 
I seen that he has a puffer in there. I'm like, please, hopefully they have large. Please have large. Please have large. And, you know, hopefully we get to meet like Tyler and Jasper in there. Big fans in the building, you know. If you have one thing to say to Tyler, what do you say? Yo, soon me and him are gonna end up collabing in the future. I make music, so I'm trying to see how much a feature will cost. You feel me? I'm blessed. Haley. What time did you guys get here? I got here like 9.25. I got here at like 10. I mean, the vibe is good. Yeah, I mess with the vibe. I'm just tired. It's like a fashion show out here for real. What are you planning on getting today? Um, I kind of want that NYC exclusive shirt. That's a fact. And he has some other people in there. I'm looking for it. Yeah. 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 Like some accessories. You know, just gonna look. If I could get like another necklace, that's what I, I'm aiming for. Like, definitely the t-shirt, if, if not a necklace. Yep. Got it from the concert in March. How were you to introduce to Tyler the Great? Um, actually, I saw his music video. Fucking too fucking young. Oh my god, that was the most favorite music video, and I just started fucking with him. I don't know, like this is this is the hard part. I just I just stumbled across it, and ever since then, I just I've been rocking with him since. But definitely, like I say, middle school. I love you. You're the amazing person. I love you. You're the best. Inspired me so much. You're amazing. I love you and keep doing you because ain't nobody like him. Literally, He's nobody him. is like He's him. Happy. He's literally He's Tyler. Happy. That's it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I didn't really get the chance to film too much inside the store. You know, as you saw there, there's some shelves there that had the t-shirts and some of the racks that had some of the sweaters and the jackets. And then there was that display case with all like the accessories and the mugs and the carabiners and the ping pong paddle. What I didn't get to show on video was that it does have that second level in the distance where it had more of the clothing it had more like the button-ups and the jackets up on the second level and then you could see like that big golf t-shirt display that's just hanging now i saw they had some new york city exclusive merch that had some designs based around the golf store being in new york city i believe there was a t-shirt and then also a jacket that was a Jeff Hamilton style kind of jacket. Also a really big reason why I really wanted to check out the golf store's grand opening was for the possibility of Tyler himself showing up. I felt like he would show up because it's the grand opening of his clothing brand in New York City. So why would he not be there for that. All right, so now popping out a line every now and then just to check up on the scene and everything and then hearing from some of the people in line or the people who came out of the store who were there earlier were saying that Tyler was there and then other people like Jasper was there too. So Tyler actually was taking the time to talk with the fans and the people shopping in the store. You know, he was also snapping photos with some of the people too and the line was moving slow because I get it, you know, the people who got in there who had the chance to like talk with Tyler, interact with him. They were really just making the most out of their time being in his presence. So I understand why it was moving slowly. And also they were just allowing maybe five people in at a time. There were people staying in there for a long time and you know, it'd be only maybe one or two people who would just go in once they saw like two people come out or so. And it was just moving really slow. But after waiting about maybe five hours in line and getting closer to the entrance of the store, I saw that Tyler and his whole crew left the store and they were gone and of course seeing tyler leave makes a lot of the people in line and the people standing across the street just try to like swarm the car and just like get photos and everything and videos so that left gaps and open spaces in the line so i was able to move up further in the line because all those people who were ahead just jumped offline 
and want to snap photos and videos of Tyler, so I basically snuck up. <laughs> then within an hour, that's when I was able to get inside the store around 3.30. After taking a look around the shop, I did end up getting something right there. So, you know, they just have these yellow golf bags right here. And I ended up getting a mug, just this yellow ceramic mug that has golf right there, just embedded into it. I have a lot of golf products, don't have a mug. So I saw this and I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and get this mug. And they also gave a sticker along with here. And it's Golf Wang on there. And it's actually the same font that is inscribed into the mug. I waited in line for over six hours and I was not gonna leave this store empty handed. I mean, I waited that long and I'm not gonna just not get anything. I'm glad I got this mug. The whole experience was pretty cool. Despite the long hours of waiting and waiting and waiting, got to meet up with like some cool people in line, just have some good conversations. It was a whole nice vibe, nice mood and everything. Don't know if I'm gonna be doing something like that again because it literally took up almost the whole day to do and like i said it took me six hours waiting in line to finally get into the store also shout out to the people that i interviewed you guys were dope thank you for taking the time to do all that stuff you know answer those questions and whatnot that pretty much wraps up the video i want to thank you all for making it this far watching the video seeing some of the experience of waiting in line when the new golf wang store opens up in New York City. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below your thoughts about this whole experience and everything, and to subscribe to the channel. I'm probably gonna go knock out right now, so peace.